Well, food insecurity is a problem across the United States, but in Louisiana, we rank among the lowest for food security in our senior population. Our Katie Lopez is at Second Harvest Food Bank with one woman's story of survival. Good morning, Katie. You know, Dave, when you talk about second worst state for food, senior food insecurity, I mean, it's 24, it's 23 percent. That's one in four seniors that are facing food insecurity. So what does that mean? What does food insecurity mean? Well, that's all people at all times have physical, social and economic access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food. But this means that they don't have that. Marilyn Hoffpower, she is one of those seniors. But as she tells us, it wasn't always that way. For 41 years, Marilyn worked to help others. A nurse, she didn't think twice when the pandemic started. Marilyn put on her scrubs every day and walked through those hospital doors, knowing the risk, but also knowing people were counting on her. And then in January of this year, she contracted the virus. I had the foreknowledge to uh, one of the nurses was looking for extra time. I said, well, I know I'm not going to be able to work Monday, so you can work for me. Well, the Sunday I was admitted to the hospital. Tragically, not long after Marilyn's husband of 41 years got COVID too. And I heard a, a crash in the kitchen. It was him. He had fallen and they admitted him. He died after a long battle with the virus. With little time to grieve, Marilyn says not only has she lost her husband, she lost the security they both worked so hard to build over the years. It's not where I thought I would be. Marilyn isn't alone. Miss Sarah says she's never thought she'd find herself depending on others as she got older. It's something she thought she had figured out. Where they can seek help you know, when they need help uh, throughout the year. As for Marilyn, today, she has some relief, help from Second Harvest to help her get by. I was kind of leery to get help and stuff, so I kind of waited a little while, but don't be embarrassed or, you know, anything about having getting help because that's what that's what I'm sure they have a mission's heart and that's what they like to do is help people you know nobody wants you to go hungry or anything and there's no reason why you can't ask for help. Despite it all she's thankful thankful to those who donate without another thought helping to take one more worry from her mind for another day. You know, guys, unfortunately, this is a story that, you know, they hear so much here at Second Harvest is I never thought it would happen to me. I have with me Natasha Curley I'm here with Second Harvest, and, and I'm sure that is something that you guys hear all the time, right? Like, I never thought it would happen to me. I worked full time. I had a job, but then there's always some circumstance that happens. Right, exactly. As we continue to highlight how the COVID pandemic has been devastating to us all, seniors actually have been hit really hard. You know, pre-pandemic, one in four seniors were already suffering with food insecurity, and that need has only increased. When you hear stories like Miss Marilyn, who did not know, actually suffered devastating loss, but did not know of the help that was available for her in her time of need. And so today is another, not only a call to action, but also awareness for seniors who are in need to know that there is help out there for them, that they are not alone. And so that's what we're hoping to accomplish with today is that, hey, Second Harvest is here. Our community is here. We're going to be here for our seniors. You know, and it's not just you guys here right here in Lafayette. I mean, it's all over Acadiana. It is all over Acadiana. I cannot emphasize how much the community has pulled together throughout just the 2020 disasters. And of course, we're still in the ongoing pandemic. And this again is that call to action, how people can get involved and to just really emphasize how our seniors are still being impacted and that need continues to increase. You know, and I think that's great to point out is we have the pandemic. We had two hurricanes. We had an ice storm. You know, there's all these factors that come into play. So, I mean, any little bit, whether it's water, you can bring fresh fruit, you can bring milk, vegetables. I mean, these are all things that are nutritious for seniors and for anyone um, that they can, uh, you guys can get that to them. So really just every little bit helps. Remember guys, if you're out grocery shopping, if you can just pick up a non-perishable food item, fruit, whatever it is, go ahead and do that because um, every little bit counts.